Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're back in Anime Fighters. And in this video, it's not really a leaks video. It's more of what we know that will come. Because obviously we've got no leaks in this video, but I'm going to be listing everything that is probably going to be in this update. Because it's probably going to be a little bit more than just a world and some new fighters. So guys, by now, if you have not seen my other videos, you will know that the anime coming is Record of Ragnarok. Everyone in the Discord server is also saying it, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty confirmed now. So obviously we're going to get that world, and we're obviously going to get a new star with a new secret, a new raid craftable. So yeah, guys, those are all the obvious things, but what do we know, or what will be a high chance of coming in this update? So, an incubator? I mean, I don't really know. I think Darab kind of wants to get away from how OP the incubator is. I feel like he kind of wants to nerf it in a way, but he doesn't know how to. So he doesn't really want more than two incubators in the game. So... I would say maybe a new incubator, but probably not. Now, this one is pretty high chance of it coming into the game. A new defense mode. Everyone's been asking for it. I mean, Darab even recognized people that have been asking for it. So maybe this will be coming in the update. Also, guys, I do not know any of these for certain. So if they don't come, oh well, but hopefully some of these do come. So yeah, a new defense mode, that'd be really cool. Obviously, Max Open's getting a little bit slow now. Like, you do a whole defense mode with maybe six or so gold fires, and you can only max open for, like, 30 minutes. I don't know, it's just kind of bad now. But hopefully, we get a new defense mode, which gives a bunch of new stars, or a bunch more stars. But, guys, obviously, if that comes, it could be at Flame City or Record of Ragnarok. And, guys, if it is, you have to remember, these will be difficult raids. So, you guys are going to have to have your best fighters out of the incubator for this. I know that my guys actually come out the incubator right before the update. I actually scheduled it just in time. Actually, they come out four hours before the update. Just so I could get as much XP as I could into them in levels. So yeah, that's how I've been preparing for this update. Let me know how you've been preparing in the comments down below. And also, guys, you've been smashing the like goals recently. Can we get 500 likes on this video again? That'd be crazy. But yeah, guys, what else will be coming in the update? Now, we just got a new divine, but because Holiday Baby is going, I kind of feel like there'll be another one. I feel like they're going to replace Holiday Baby. So maybe there will be some new divines. I don't know. Yeah, defense mode is looking really positive in this game. I mean, it's very needed. And guys, there may be some changes to the shiny crafting machine. Maybe they change how the fruits work. Maybe they add some of the ideas. Maybe make massive meteors. Yeah, obviously they're just suggestions, but recently I think Darren's been actually listening to some of our suggestions. So yeah, hopefully he really does add these because these would be really awesome. Also guys, comment down below what do you think he will add. If it's going to be a normal update, I'm kind of thinking the biggest part of it will be the defense mode. Everyone will just be able to max open again. And uh, currently right now, because of these golden presents, I have six defense tokens saved up. So I presents to win the game. I definitely do recommend that you guys farm these. I'm going to try to get like 10 defense tokens before the next update. Obviously, because if there is a defense mode, then that's going to put me at a really good advantage. The new incubator has been pretty highly requested, so obviously we may see that. But then again, I think Darab's trying to get away from the incubator side of things, because honestly, the incubator, no one really enjoys it. You just kind of put your fighters in there and leave the game. Like, also, if you put your best fighters in there, your two best fighters, it's really sad. Because you go from doing like 20 trillion DPC to doing like 5 trillion DPC. And then you can't do any time trials or make any yen. You can make a decent amount of yen still, but it's just nothing compared to what you would make with your best fighters. So yeah, I feel like having your two best fighters taken away from you, like a whole entire week, is just kind of sad. So hopefully they do do something with incubators. I know I did make my video on incubator upgrades, so hopefully he listened to something like that. Also guys, we could be seeing some time trial changes, like in my other video. Darab actually tweeted out that he doesn't really like time trials recently. He doesn't feel like they're getting much attention, so maybe he'll change them there. But yeah, guys, what do you think will be coming in the next update? Obviously, we know we're getting the secret boss and everything because that's in the new badges. Xmas passes will probably be going, meaning the Xmas raid will also go. So obviously, if you guys want to get any last Xmas passes, make sure to get them now because you will not be able to get them again after this event. Unless they just shove them in the normal machine, which they said they wouldn't. But then again, they did that with Ghostly. I'm pretty sure Ghostly was meant to be limited, but it wasn't. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Sorry it was short, I just wanted to get this video out. Obviously trying to keep up that daily grind. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, guys.